Hello YouTube, this is Keith for the KPNN, and today I'll be showing you how to install the zombie mod, aka the flying mod, for Minecraft version 1.1, which is the newest version which was released yesterday on January 12th, 2012. Okay, so I'm going to provide a link for y'all in the description. Just go ahead and click that. It should bring you to a website that looks something like this on the Minecraft forums. Uh, this zombies mod pack is brought to you by Tanzanite, so I don't know if I'm saying that right but hopefully I am and but thank you very much okay so we'll just go ahead and scroll on down until you see current version uh, 5.9 for Minecraft 1.1 and just go ahead and click the download button okay and then this window should appear right here uh, just go ahead and save the file alright and there it is I'm going to go ahead and minimize the web page because I don't need that anymore. You're actually done with downloading stuff. It's just all right here. Okay, now go to your start menu. And if you're in Vista and 7, type in uh, percent app data percent. Hit enter. should bring you to a folder in the roaming directory of your computer. Looks like this. Uh, you should see a dot .minecraft. Double click that, open that. Uh, go inside of the folder called bin. You should see minecraft.jar. Right click and open it with WinRAR or any other file opener that you have. Uh, I know there's also 7-zip and a few others. And so anyway, uh, you'll see in between, oh yeah, in between language and uh, miscellaneous folders, you'll see one called meta-inf. Uh, select that folder and delete the meta imp folder. I repeat, delete the meta imp folder. If you do not delete it, none of the mods that you install will work. Okay, with that done, uh, just go ahead and open up the zombies mod pack here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close the downloads. And then you should see a classes folder. Double click that, open it up, select every. Let's see, can I do it right here? No, I got to be on this side. Okay. Select every dot class and everything inside of the classes folder. And just click, hold, and drag them on over to your minecraft.jar. See the minecraft.jar. Click OK. All right, that should be done. You can actually close your minecraft.jar right now. Uh, go back up one level. Go into the config folder. You should see all these text document files. Uh, go back to your dot minecraft and create a folder called mods, I think it was. Yeah, M-O-D-S. And then inside the mods folder, create another folder called zombie, Z-O-M-B-E. Not I-E, Z-O-M-B-E. No I. Inside that folder, this is where you just select all the text files and move them on over. I'm not going to do that because I already have mine configured. Now, onto the final part, which is the configuration. Go into the config.txt. should look like this. Uh... Just go ahead and scroll on down. Well, I mean, as you can see here, they have a cloud mod, cart mod. Uh, what I'm going to show you today mainly is the fly and maybe the time, but mainly the fly. When you first see your mod, it should be something like this. Fly mod, aka flying, huh? And uh, mod fly enabled equal yes. To enable it, delete that. Delete the number symbol that was before it. And then it should turn on and activate. You can change your keys. I wouldn't recommend it though because then so many things would start conflicting with each other. So it's probably best to just leave it as is. Uh, you'll definitely have to change your uh, crouch or creep key because it's L shift to speed up. You have a speed modifier in here. With the speed modifier you know you can just edit these values and uh, it'll change your speed. <laughs> and uh, it's really great if you want to travel places a lot faster. I highly recommend it. And then let's see, let's go on down to the, was it the sun mod? I am not sure here. Let's see, da -da -da, wield, safe mod, boom, spawn. Uh, wasn't there one that was time? Did they get rid of that? Yeah, you can uh, do the weather mod, control the weather. Very useful in single player if you don't want to have to deal with the annoying weather and lags and 
stuff like that. Okay, I guess it was the Sun mod, uh, but I'll probably do another video on that if you want to. I mean, if you want me to. Uh, just, you know, I'll do it. Just say the word, alright? Uh, and then make sure to always go File, Save, to save your changes, and you are done. You can actually now go on into Minecraft. I'll go ahead and log on in. Let me see if I can make this big air for you at least. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, whatever. And uh, I'll just go on into my world here that I was playing. Built this world. <laughs> my house. Let's see. Alright, I'll go outside here for ya. Alrighty. And, uh, okay, so before, you know, I'm in survival mode, as you can see right down here, uh, you can't fly. You can't do the double jump thing like you can in creative mode. So now if you go ahead and hit the F key or whatever key it was that you assigned, you should have seen in the top left up here a new word and it says flying. Go ahead and hit the E key to go up, Q key to go down, and just walk around normally like you would when you're just walking on top of blocks. And uh, if you hold down shift and if you change your speeds, well then hey, you know, you're going faster or slower depending on how you made the values. And if you let off the flying and you still use the shift key you run you know really fast and you can jump and you can do all sorts of cool stuff but all right this is keith for the kpnn showing you the zombies mod pack by tanzanite on the minecraft forums talk to you later